I'm Sherry Martin. I'm still in Pigeon Forge. I'm still smiling. And my guest, Melton Campbell, is back with me tonight. And we're going to share a sweet tart recipe. This didn't have a name when we got here, and we gave it one, sweet didn't tart. we? I'm sweet, you're I'm tart. tart. Here we go. The ingredients for this recipe are two packs of crescent rolls, three Granny Smith apples, cinnamon and sugar to taste, butter, cream cheese, and we're using the whipped cream cheese, and canned vanilla icing. Simple, simple, easy to assemble. Now, Melton has already peeled the apples for me, and you're gonna be grating these, and you grate them very fine because this doesn't have much time to cook before right. the crust is done. <clears throat> so we want the apples fine. Right. And you're gonna grate those without cutting yourself on the grater? I'll do my Is that best. the deal? Okay, I'll there we no go. Blood no, no, no injuries. We are grating this fine because this does cook quick. The crescent rolls um, cook fast. We're gonna cook them at 340, so um, they do cook fast, and it just gives the cream cheese and the apples time to blend, and it's a little bit crunchy when it comes out. They're not always cooked together. It's just um, a little bit crunchy. I can see where you could take a finger. You could, there. absolutely. You have to be careful with this. I've had this grater a long time and I use it pretty often, but you do have to be careful. We're gonna create our bottom crust by just using a can of crescent rolls. And I said, I believe I've made this thing so many ways we could enter a Pillsbury cook-off. This is a great way to use crescent rolls. You just roll them out and create your crust. You put mash the seams together so that it doesn't split while it's cooking. And we're just gonna cover this in cream cheese and you're gonna sprinkle it with the apples that you've already done. And I'm gonna put the cinnamon and sugar. Remember, I'm the sweet mm, part of this recipe right. and you're the tart. the tart. That's right, that's right. This could stand to be a little bit softer. I should have gotten it out of the fridge a little bit sooner. But it's gonna be just fine. And I promise this will be hot and bubbly quickly. That's the thing, that's why we had to get the recipe for the apples, has to be the consistency you need. Now, go ahead and sprinkle some apples on top of this. I'm gonna dollop a little bit of butter on there with your apples. Not very much, because we don't need much butter. We've got the cream cheese. Looks good. Now, cinnamon and sugar. There's the sweet. There's the sweet. Here's the sweet. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> There's the sweet. Okay, cinnamon and sugar to taste. We're gonna put a topping on there. You create your top crust. And this is so good and so simple. Okay, we're gonna stick this in the oven at 340 for about 12 minutes. There you go. There's your job. Hot out of the oven, smells great. We're gonna add a little icing to this. And we've been joined by Levi Campbell, Melton's son, who's gonna sample this for us. Oh, he likes wow, that smells so good, Boy, doesn't it, Levi? Good. Mm. Oh, that smells good. All right, now we're gonna cut this with a pizza cutter. I found doing this, I cut it in little squares. And um, to be quite honest with you, serve it several times a week, take it to the office. But remember, we're traveling. And this was such an easy recipe. You can travel with these ingredients. We always bring a cooler. We always buy what's on sale. And try not to eat out much. We just kind of cook us a little something here in the cabin. And Boy, this, that does that look good? Time to take a bite, mm -hmm. see if you like this. Quick and easy, mm. good, mm -hmm. very good. Levi says it's a winner. We'll be back, guys. Bye-bye.